we think this is taking a toll on the financial the company. The little that will come to the staff, you see, you can imagine if you work for 30 years in the company, you are going on retirement, and you go home two, three years, your retirement benefit has been paid to you. What we need currently is buses. If we, get, we have the buses, we'll be able to work to pay ourselves well. But without the buses, what is the deputy managing director coming to do? What is she coming to manage? They, they have to for about six million Ghana cities, that should go to Senate, it's not going. And if you go on retirement in STC, there is some lump sum that STC will have to give to you as a retirement package. You go on retirement six, two, three years, you will not re receive those retirement packages. Ranging from buses that we, we are using, that is the operational buses, there are very few. And this situation has brought financial strain on the company. Out of over 140 to 150 buses, currently roadworthy buses are about 39 to 40. And see that the fleets have dwindled completely. And with all these difficulties, coupled with other staff benefits that the company cannot meet. And we need buses so that we can be able to work and then the company will be able to pay all this uh, backlog to us. But to our surprise, we heard that a new deputy managing director is coming. Before then, the three deputy managing directors that the company currently have, the staff are not happy with it. Because it has put a financial strain on the company. And if one of them is going, we think it's a relief so that those monies can be used to at least channel towards the payment of this backlog that we are talking about. And if there is anything that the staff of STC need currently, it is buses, not a deputy managing director. What is she coming to manage?